Hey guys, so I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video in so long, it's so rubbish of me. I'm really sorry, I've had like problems with my computer. Um, but I am off to university, believe it or not. I got the grades that I needed to go and do a course that I'm really excited about. And I'm, I'm off to uni. I'm not going back to school ever again. Um, it is the weirdest thing ever. So few people have been messaging me asking me about uh, my sixth form experience and A-levels so I thought I would make a video. So here it is for you now. So I thought that I would start off with talking about my lower school years first and then talk about sixth form. So in lower school I was a really shy, quiet child who had no confidence whatsoever. I used to be silent in class, never used to put my hand up and I just really was not a very out there person at all and I didn't speak nearly as much as I do now in class and things like that and I had a group of friends who were majority girls actually I think we all were girls yes we were all girls I was really close with them for quite a while until they kind of ditched me and we drifted apart which was a really sad time I was not a very happy child in lower years but I would have to say that I'm so happy that I stayed because I stayed um, all the way through till year 11 where I still wasn't like very happy I didn't have a set group of girlfriends and guy friends that I have now I made the decision to stay on for sick form instead of going off to a college or changing to another sick form so I stayed and I am so happy that I did stay because I can honestly say that sixth form for me was the best school years ever I met such a great group of people who I now am so close with. I've got some of my bestest friends um, who I know I'm going to stay friends with for life and I am so super sad that I'm not going to uni with any of them but we are definitely staying in contact. You know who you are. This is going to be very interesting to edit because I've blabbed quite a bit. But yes, I have to say that some of these people are like my, my closest, closest friends who I see all the time. I can't put it into words how much like, how much better my friendships and social life has changed. I used to never go to parties, I used to never be invited to parties, uh, I used to never meet up with people on a regular regular basis because I went to a school, I, I went to a sixth form and a school that was quite far away and I didn't have loads of close friends where I lived but then I moved from getting a, um, a private taxi with some people uh, to the school bus and once I got on that school bus I met some of my closest friends. It was just amazing and I try and live by the theory of everything or the saying everything happens for a reason. Cringy I know but I do believe in that. So I got better friendships. Another major thing that happens in sixth form that I get asked about sometimes is what is the kind of relationship you have with teachers and I would have to say that with teachers in sixth form they respect you more because of the fact that you're there to learn. All the people who don't really want to learn leave and go uh, to apprenticeships which is fine because school isn't for them. Uh, they don't just do apprenticeships but they may go to college or something else that has a course or something that they enjoy. So the people who were causing a ruckus saying that a ruckus in class or leave you don't really get any disruptions in class at all anymore I can't even remember the last time that there was like a senior staff and they used to happen like on a regular basis in lower years which used to be kind of funny and kind of frustrating so I was in a class of four people including me for drama because not many people decided to take drama because people think it's an easy subject it is not came really close with our teacher naturally because there are four of us in the class and we would act more like friends sometimes because we would sit and we'd chat and we'd gossip a bit and it was just a really nice thing to have because usually teachers you know uh, obviously they're respected because they're teaching you and they are the adults but in sixth form it's completely different they want you to learn and you want to learn so it's just a better friendship don't really know how else to say another positive of sixth form is that we could actually sign out and go into town I used to say it wasn't a town um, it was like a little village because I live in the countryside um, and we'd go and we'd get waffles sometimes in the summer or ice cream or fish and chips and it was just a really nice place to go and chat with friends and it was really nice but you weren't allowed to go when it was um, 
like free periods or stuff because obviously you're encouraged to work. Battery's gonna die, battery, no. Sorry guys, the camera just died, so I am, um, I had to quickly charge it for 20 minutes, see how long this will take me. So I wanted to talk about year 12 and year 13 because they are completely different years. Year 12 is um, a year where you are going in to start two years of a course that is completely different to what you've previously been taught, obviously, because you are going up in the educational system. And the other one is year 13, where you are leaving to go to university or an apprenticeship or something like that. So year 12, I would say, is a year where you meet new people who have maybe been in your year but you have never spoken to them because there were so many people in your year um, or for some reasons like you weren't in class with them uh, and some of my close friends I never used to speak to because I was in complete opposite sides of the year we had like an X and Y system don't ask me why but that's how our school did it year 12 is when you meet new people and definitely have new friendship groups year 12 is a more relaxing year in comparison to year 13 because in year 13 you have UCAS, you have driving tests if you're learning how to drive and the theory and year 13 is a kind of love-hate year I loved it because I have grown even closer with my friends and I see them more regularly now than I did in year 12 and we're just so close and your social life's great and you turn 18 year 12 is a much more relaxing year because you only have exams at the end of the year you still have to work really hard but there isn't that pressure about going to uni sorting out if you're going to do an apprenticeship if you want to you know researching all of that I would have to say that sixth form was such an amazing time for me and if you are worried about starting sixth form or college please don't be whether you are going to a new one or staying um, at the sixth form you're with and you currently don't have loads of friends or if you do then that's great and you're going to meet more people but I would have to say that wherever you go you will meet friends and people who you get on with and you shouldn't care about what other people think and just have a great time because I can definitely say that the friends that I have made are friends for life. This is a really cheesy comment but it is true and I'm gonna miss them so much when I go off to university and I just sometimes wish that I could start it all over again because I don't know what I'm gonna do without these people being in my life on a regular basis or in classes. It's such a weird thing to say. Thank you so much for watching my video this week guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been quite nice to actually look back on my sixth form experience and I will see you next week. Bye!